those Brits, uh, they like to hop on and just talk down on Americans. They've been in my inbox, and when I called Barry out, they said blue coats versus the red coats, and you're coming over here for a beating. Uh, I don't know, let's go back to 1776 and see how it worked out for you guys then. Here we are, 2023, we're gonna come to your soil, and uh, I can't think of a better person for you to lose to than my boy Tommy. I'm Tommy the Samurai Turner. I'm a professional fighter out of Weezer, Idaho. We are fighting June 25th at the O2 Arena in London, uh, and I am fighting Barry Jones, the current world champion. So my dad's mother, her name was Eiko Kudo. She came from Japan. My grandfather was in the military station over there, found his woman, brought her home, and started a family. So I was raised in Weezer. Boxing kind of started as a kid. My dad boxed. My dad was uh, ex-military. He went through buds, SEAL training and all that stuff, so he was just kind of a pushy, tough guy. So played baseball, was a pitcher, and then uh, I did wrestle. I won state in wrestling and freestyle. Made me toughen up as a kid and mainly focusing on football. All I really know how to do is compete. That's all I've ever done, so I was 11 years old when I started training. My very first competitive fight was at 16 years old, and it was an MMA fight. Junior year of high school, I was the number one running back in the state of Idaho. I was looking at going to Washington State University. Um, my senior year, middle of football season, I had gotten caught up, started partying. I tried something, turned out to be methamphetamines, and I was, next thing you know, I was out of school, lost my scholarships, I was in trouble, and at 18 years old, I was sentenced to 12 years in prison with six years of parole. I went and did a boot camp, passed the program, got out early after one year, immediately turned pro, and uh, boxing and fighting has literally saved my life and kept my head out of my rear end and you know, kind of kept me going, so. Before he's one of my fighters, he's my little brother, he's my cousin, he's family. And uh, when he got in trouble and got back out, we rekindled our relationship together and found ways to uh, channel this anger. And that's where the combat sports really came in. I've cornered most of his MMA fights, and uh, then he got into boxing and just took it to the next level, was able to really find his calling with uh, these uh, hands that he has that are just made out of dynamite. Being a wife of a fighter, my biggest fear is him getting hurt or not coming home. Like, it, you just never know what's gonna happen, and it gets, it gets scary. Idaho is my home. I grew up in Weezer, which is 15 minutes away. We chose Payette now just because it's a little bit more in the middle. My kids go to school there, and we own businesses there, so I'm married to a, probably the hardest working woman I've ever met. Had kids. I never knew how much a person could love something until I had children. Um, everything I do is for them. Quality time is important to me. Tommy and I just work so much, and it's hard. It's really hard sometimes. There's a lot of people counting on Tommy to win this fight. First and foremost, his family. Uh, he's got a, a wife and three kids that watch the sacrifice that he does, so they're all counting on him. Then he's got a, a mom and a stepdad that have been amazing support system for Tommy, and so they're counting on him. But I'm really counting on him just to go and give it his best and shock the world that he's a world champion. I am very stressed out about this fight, but I really have faith that he is going to take this belt home and maybe someday Tommy will retire. <laughs>
Tommy only having one bare knuckle fight, but looking at um, Barry's record, right, this isn't uncommon to him. He's fought guys, again, with not the most stellar record, so I think he'd be a fool not to respect anyone that went in this uh, ring with him, um, one and or not. But Tommy's got a lot of history and experience behind him, and he hits like a Mack truck. So if he doesn't uh, respect his record, he'll respect that right hand. Bare Knuckle is growing right now, like UFC was back in the early 2000s, late 90s. So it's like they made the Trigon for me. Jones and I have a similar history. We both boxed for years before we went to Bare Knuckle. He's considered the GOAT, if you ask most people in the sport. So when I'm 2-0 after I beat him, then he'll respect my record. So when this came up, it was, all right, everything before this is out the window, and we're going to get you ready to bring home a belt. High intensity interval training is what we do. A lot of uh, resistance and explosive training. We do uh, a lot of um, weight carry type stuff, so we're always under load. And so I, I believe in the training that we do that uh, is not meant just for, for power, for speed, but it's for longevity. It's for practical everyday use, and it's out to go win world titles as well. Barry has everything to lose. I believe I'm a world champion. I've dedicated my entire life to this. He's the comfortable champ. I'm the guy over here hungry, wanting what he's got. So he loses, I win. No matter what, that belt's gonna be mine.